Good morning. It was the last thing people in Chestermere needed, another storm. But that's exactly what happened, and it could happen again today. After being hit by flash flooding earlier this week, Chestermere got slammed again. This time, not only rain, but so much hail, it looked like a snowstorm. On Sunday, more than 300 homes were flooded after a deluge of rain. It's not known if that number is higher after yesterday's rainfall. And with more rain in the forecast, all residents can do is cross their fingers. Clean up. Lots of clean up, right? Using the generators, keeping the sump pumps going because we were out of power for seven hours on Sunday. Well, at least the power is on, which is keeping the sump pumps running. But the damage is occurring now from the idiots driving through and just looking at stuff, right? Mm -hmm. You're just pushing water right into people's garages and houses again, right? And they've already got enough damage. We don't need any more. Chestermere Mayor Patricia Matthews tweeting late last night that some storm ponds would be pumped out overnight in an effort to avoid more flooding if rain comes their way again soon. Back during the flood of 2013, some businesses impacted closed for months. Others never reopened. Now, the Calgary Emergency Management Agency and the Chamber of Commerce are joining forces to help local businesses prepare for emergencies and disasters. This summer, SEMA staff will be visiting businesses with information about how they can make their businesses more resilient and disaster ready. Business continuity and preparedness isn't just about a big flood or some significant weather event. It could be as simple as a power outage or snow or a fire next door needing you to vacate your business. More than 7,000 Calgary businesses were affected by the 2013 flood. Beginning Tuesday, Calgarians will have their say on proposed changes to the city's ward boundaries. Rapid growth has led to unbalanced populations in Calgary's 14 municipal wards. In an effort to even things out, City Council appointed a three-member commission to redraw the lines in time for the 2017 municipal election. The goal is to ensure all 14 wards have roughly the same number of people. There are two scenarios on the table, both up for discussion at the five open houses. Commission Chair Al Dewar respects that people have a relationship with their ward councillor, but says the boundaries have to change. The bottom line, though, is there will have to be some changes if we're going to achieve the overall uh, objectives of this exercise. Um, I think the, the, you know, again, our objective will be to minimize that. We're going out. These two scenarios are not cast in stone. That's why we're taking them out to the community. The open houses begin on Tuesday and wrap up on August 4th. While Aldor admits summer isn't the ideal time, his commission must have its final report to council in October. Council will vote on the final boundary changes by the end of the year. Work gets underway this morning to make the underpass on 8th Street Southwest safer and nicer to look at. The underpass between 8th and 10th Avenues was chosen as a priority due to the fact about 9,000 people walk there every day as a link between the Beltline and the downtown. The $8.8 .8 million project will see new sidewalks, LED lighting, repairs and maintenance of the upper and lower retaining walls. Most of the work should be done by the end of the year with landscaping down next spring. Beginning today, Expect some pedestrian and road restrictions until the east side of the underpass is complete.